gonna be like in the intro of every video because every time I try to get some time by myself, she starts crying. So funny, when I was at the shelter picking out a cat and I finally decided on her, I was like, she's literally perfect besides the fact that she's way too quiet. Get home, noisiest flip. Definitely the noisiest cat I've ever had. Also probably the clingiest cat as well. Totally fine with me. You smell like food. You got cookies. Ew. She still has some pretty bad allergies. I did take her to the vet and he was like, He's a trash guy. He basically was like, it's fine. Literally nothing's wrong with her. You just have to live with it. I was like, does she though? Does she really have to live with it? After I changed her food, she actually stopped scratching. So there's no more like patches of fur missing. She's also not sneezing anymore. But her eyes still water a lot, poor baby. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome to the vlog. So it is full. Just made myself a coffee. I'm cleaning up, trying to get this house situated. It is literally a mess. Coffee. So yeah, I went to the grocery store this morning, stocked up on a couple of things. And now I'm just doing the laundry. don't get enough Douglas hour. Are you getting some sun, Popo? Hi, Douglas. Put a bunch of like new stuff in his cage and he's just been loving it. The weather here, oh my God. Like I really, really want a dryer. I can only do the laundry when the weather allows it. I got this like overpriced bike cover for my bike. I have like a wooden basket on the front and I don't want it to get moldy when it rains and it rains a lot. Speaking of the rain, I was talking about the weather. I can only do the laundry when the weather allows me to, when it's sunny, but sometimes I'm like busy, I'm not in town. I swear, the laundry just does not get done enough in this house. I'm actually super busy this morning, but I woke up early. Yes. It gets dark at like 4.30. That is so, so early. So once it's dark, my energy kind of just like, and I can't have coffee past one o'clock. So try and get as much done as I possibly can in the morning and fall. Also, we don't have daylight saving time. When it is sunny though, the weather is so, so nice. I'm working on a really cool backyard project. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might've saw a little sneak peek. So yeah, I've been spending all of my time outside in the yard. I've also been looking haggard because I'm outside in the yard and I don't put any makeup. Cause I'm gonna sweat it all off, you know. Also, this new vlog camera, I'm not feeling it. Here's my new vlog camera. I got the Sony ZV-E10. I forgot the other one, but this is like the upgraded version of that one. I think it was like ZV-1 or something. Everyone's vlogging with it, but it doesn't have interchangeable lenses and I need those. The magic is all in the lenses. One of my last videos, I got so many questions about what camera am I using. Right now, I'm literally using all of my cameras. It's a hot mess. I don't have a very good system right now going on. I've also been using this one. This is the Sony A6400. For those wondering, the one that I usually vlog on is the Sony A5100. That one is gold, but uh, I guess I'm not making it anymore. So it was really difficult for me to get. It was really expensive. This one's way newer. So I was like, Ugh, I'll just finally upgrade. And of course, for the really nice cinematic shots, I have my Canon, the EOS R. God, this lens is where the magic is happening. So yeah, I bought like this little bike lock and the little bike cover, but I have a feeling I'm not even gonna need this. I noticed most of my neighbors who have their bikes parked down there, don't have them locked. We are in Japan, literally nobody steals. Might not need this, but you know, rather be safe than sorry. My bike is a vibe, I don't know about your bike. How did I get so lucky to have such amazing neighbors? Like at my old apartment, I never talked to any of my neighbors. They all were just like, let's just keep our distance. I was like, okay, fine. I have another neighbor on the other side, this old lady, she just came out when I was like gardening. Oh my God, she loved to talk. And my Japanese is not that good. She was grabbing my hair, she's like, oh my God, your braids. She said I have some kind of class where they put the TV on and they were watching a tennis match with a girl who has hair that looks like mine. And I don't know, but she was grab, grab my braids. She was trying to ask who did it and I didn't know how to say a stylist, so I just said I did it. You, you guys know how it is. All right, 
So I was just doing my makeup, getting ready to head out. A lot of you guys asked me like what nude lipstick I was wearing in the last video. It was actually a combination of two lip liners and this Man Eater Tarte Plumping Gloss. So I got these two for my birthday from my friend Jessica. Was not expecting to like this, but this is so amazing. This is why I can't buy makeup because I see the color and I'm like, no, that wouldn't work on me. Look how light this is. I would have never in my life picked this up. It's like a nude pink and it just looks way too light for me. So I would have never touched it. However, actually made the perfect nude in combination with like a brown lip liner. So first I go on with the brown lip liner. This one's from NYX or is it NYX? They actually told us and I totally forgot. I have a much darker lip liner. I'm gonna go in like barely with this, like barely. And then this is the one that Jessica got me. It is Makeup Revolution London in the color Chauffeur. This is the one that gives that nude look. Looks crazy, right? But just blend it in. So this is what the nude is looking like. I love it. And again, this is something I definitely would not have <laughs> purchased myself and it works and then finally the tart lip gloss this one's actually like a plumping lip gloss so it like tingles a little bit and this is also like that same pinky nude voila i don't have on red lip tint for once so i'm just gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out It's sunny, but it's actually hecka cold, so I'm gonna wear my Fuji sweater today. This sweater is from my shop, Mood Global. I designed the back too. I do get a lot of questions about the sizes of my items. This is a small. These run bigger because they are unisex, so yeah. So yeah, this is my outfit. I'm wearing the Fuji sweater and some black leggings. I'm gonna put on white tennis shoes. Why did I even pretend like I wasn't gonna? Every time I walk by the door, I keep forgetting that I have these, and I haven't even opened them yet. Look at this. So I bought these like a long time ago and keep forgetting that they're there. So this is like a little kiki glass. Gigi on the inside. So cute. Oh, you guys know. Love Ranma. Ranma. I need to stop collecting cute anime cups, but like it's hard. Anyways, it's time to go. So I'm actually in Shibuya today. I have like a butt ton of errands to run. I could have done them in a different place, but like it's the weekend and it's not just any weekend. It's Halloween weekend. So I thought Shibuya would be a much funner place to come to to get all my errands done, but I'm starving. So first stop is get some food. I want abra soba. I haven't had it in so long. I'm already seeing a whole bunch of cool costumes. Most of them are like scary stuff, but I like the like cosplay low key type, you know? So I saw like Avatar. Shibuya is always fun during Halloween, even if there's no like trick-or-treating or partying going on. Everyone still dresses up.
Alright, I'm all done eating. I got abara soba. If you're like new to my channel, it's like my favorite dish here in Japan. I basically tell everyone visiting like you have to go to abara soba. It's like soupless ramen and it's actually healthier than ramen. And you mix in like vinegar and some spicy oil. It's so dang good. I have a butt ton of errands to run, a little bit of shopping to do. done with all my shopping and errands just got a drink here at happy lemon they have like boba tea and boba lattes so i got their like halloween special which is a black sesame boba latte it's actually fire i thought it was gonna be gross just sounded gross but it's so good Let's pray that it's actually my phone because I don't know if it is or not. Thanks for driving me. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for the car. You pointed, but it's your car. Does it look like it? Can't tell yet. Yay! Yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Time, I've lost my phone and of course it's always returned to me seriously only in Japan do people give your phone back every single time your wallet doesn't matter what it is money oh, I love Japan Thank you, Sam. 